Hey guys, I thought I'd just do a really quick review on this Sound Blaster Omni Surround 5.1 external sound card. Um, I just got it. I did the unboxing today and hooked it up and decided to try out a few things and see how it worked. It works really well. Uh, it actually amplifies my sound quite a bit from my laptop. As many of you know, I do game on my laptop and has a nice easy volume control knob here it has little settings it goes from one to the other uh, has little notches is what I mean there uh, has the RCA hookups on the back as well as two 3.5 millimeter plugs uh, one for the sub and one for the center channel and in the on the opposite side it has the headphone jack it has a microphone jack and then it has an uh, auxiliary jack for like mp3 players or anything else that you might want to listen to as well. Uh, right here are two speakers. It does have left and right and will uh, distinguish between the two so that you can get a stereo mic if you'd like to. Um, I don't plan on using these too much as I'm going to use the mic on my headphones uh, as a neat little lit uh, red design there something like that no real need for it but kind of looks cool uh, but anyway uh, just really quick it does work really well I'm really impressed with it it gives me the connections that I need and I honestly can't see anything uh, that I would actually improve on it or anything that I can actually knock on it um, it does everything that they claim it'll do as for software uh, the software is actually very intuitive it's a very easily navigable software which is not bad at all um, I can go through here and select anything that I need to select um, the crystal voice which is in the mics that are on there uh, and it also actually you know it really smooths out your voice and then scout mode uh, allows you to hear things like uh, footsteps and things like that. It just changes the tone of the sound so that it accents the sounds that you want to hear while you're gaming. Uh, and then you can set up your speakers and your headphones here. Uh, it has a cinematic setting. You can go to your Dolby Digital Live, which is what you'll want to do so that you can get that 5.1 surround. And then you can also use the S uh, PDIF. Uh, connections uh, if you want that full surround as well or if you have like uh, some Astro A50s or something like that uh, that requires that. Uh, you've got a full mixer here uh, you can mix just about anything that you need and then you have an equalizer and then you can actually set up your own profiles and I've got one that's just called setup one which was my first profile that I set up in here and then once you close it, it'll automatically go right back down into your uh, tray down here. And it stays open. Unless you do close out of it. Now, to set it up, you can go into your speaker settings. Uh, you just right click on your little speaker here. And you can hit playback devices. And then from here, you just left click on there and then hit set as default and then that will give you the Sound Blaster Omni Surround as your default device. Uh, if you're using uh, a, a, a USB headset or something that's powered uh, through the USB or has the mic input through there then you can select your mic input through here which is what I'm using. I'm using my Skull Candy Slayers. So I've selected my microphone here and then set it as default for the Skull Candy Slayer headset I just apply it or click OK and then I go back into my uh, Sound Blaster Omni settings and then I can go in and disable the uh, microphone in here so what I did is I just muted that microphone and in that way it doesn't pick up the sounds as well as the the microphone headset you'll also want to take and do it in here as well uh, not there, sorry. In the mixer. I muted it in the mixer right here so that it doesn't get anything. And then that's it. And anyway, I'm really liking it and I would definitely recommend it. And you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.